Hello! This video tutorial will show you how to add a life event to your profile on Employee Navigator. A life event is a change in your situation, like having a baby or getting married for example, that may affect your dependent status or coverage eligibility. Depending on your life event, you may need to change your benefit plan in between open enrollment periods. To add a life event, log on to Employee Navigator. Locate and click the Benefits button underneath the blue Welcome banner on your home page. To add a dependent or coverage for an existing one, select Add or Adjust Coverage on the left-hand side of the screen. Read through the possible reasons for adjusting your coverage and select the one that describes your life event. In this case, we will be adding a newborn child. You will then be asked to enter the date of this event. Please note, you cannot add one of these events until after it has occurred, and you have a limited time frame after the fact to document the life change, so do so in as timely a manner as possible. You can then add a dependent to your profile by clicking Add a New One. You can then add information like their first name, last name, their relationship to you, their gender, and their date of birth. If you do not have or do not know their social security number at this time, you can add this information in later, and when you are done, press Save. You will now be presented with possible changes to your plans that you can make, depending on the life event that you have selected. You can choose to add these new dependents onto your plan, and will be presented with the new cost required. You can select the new coverage you would like, and press Save when you are done. If you were looking to drop a dependent or remove their coverage, we will show you by returning to the home page. Under the Benefits button, under the blue Welcome banner, you would have clicked Drop Coverage under Change Coverage on the left-hand side of the screen. You would then be presented with possible life event options and could choose the correct one. In this case, we will be choosing Dependent Eligible for Other co Coverage. This could mean that your spouse would like to put them on their plan through their job and you would like to drop them from your plan at this time. You will then need to enter the date of the event, which again, you cannot do ahead of time and should be done in a timely manner once the event has passed. You can then select the dependent you wish to drop and will be presented with the new cost of your plans. When you are done, press save. Your company's Human Resource Department will be notified by Employee Navigator of the changes you have entered and may need to approve them depending on your company's policies. If you have questions, you can find their contact information in the top right-hand corner of the page. We hope this video has been a helpful tutorial of how to add a life event on Employee Navigator.